Well, Matthew's obviously been in the for a couple of days, but for you, I guess, the focus is, is and always will be the game on Wednesday night. Yeah, it is. And first and foremost, I want to say thank you to, to the manager. Um, I think it's really important that I mentioned that and how good he's been to me over the last four years since I've been here. He, he was fantastic with me and will rightly go down as one of the best managers this club's ever had. So um, thank you to him. And uh, yeah, we've, we've been asked to prepare the team for Wednesday and, and that's what we'll do and we'll do it to the best of our abilities. Yeah, I guess it's just about making sure the players' and minds are, are on the game. It's all you can really do, isn't it? Is, is look at this game and, and prepare for it as best you can. Yeah, I had a chat to him today and um, we, we basically said that the next 33 hours um, we'll prepare them the best way possible. Um, we'll give them everything we've got and they'll do the same to us and, and hopefully they will. I'm sure they will. There won't be any issue there. They trained really well today. They were bright, they were bubbly and we mixed it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll go to the hotel tomorrow and, and have our pre-match and, and then um, go through the tactical element of it, which was touched on a little bit today, but we'll do a bit more tomorrow. Yeah, because in the last three games, the effort has clearly been there, the commitment has clearly been there, the desire to win has clearly been there. It gives you something to, to build on, doesn't it? It has. The, the performances on a whole, give or take, missing a couple of things. Um, it's been really good and the shape's been really good. And like you say, the, the desire, the commitment, that's definitely not lacking. I don't think anyone can say that. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll be looking for the same tomorrow night as a minimum and, um, and, and look to go there and, and compete. Of course, Fulham is probably not the easiest game to look at the calendar and think, oh, we'll, we'll never go there. I mean, they're, they're obviously flying at the top of the league. I guess nobody will be expecting you to go and get a result there. But equally, football's a, a weird and wonderful sport, isn't it? It is indeed. You never know. You never know. They're a good side. They're a really, really good side and, and rightly see at the top of the league. Um, and, and scored lots and lots of goals this season. But, you know, it's coming to the back end of the season now and, and they'll be t expected to pick up results on a consistent basis. So we'll be hope, hoping that uh, they don't do that tomorrow night. And of course, in the game at, at the Western Home Stadium, it was a very tight affair, played very well that day and, and showed that we could mix it with those teams at the top of the table, particularly at home. And again, you can take confidence in that because, you know, Fulham have signalled a lot of teams this year. You know, the, the shape, we watched it back and the shape of that day was really, really good. Um, compact um, and everything that goes alongside that front to back, the distances were really good. So, yeah, there's, there's something to take from that game, definitely. And, and if you look back to that game, we had, we had the better chance in the game, really, um, until Mitrovic popped up at the end to score. So, positive to take from that. Um, and, and like I said, we'll go there tomorrow with a game plan, and, and I'm sure the boys will give it, give it every, everything. Sorry. And you've got Simon with you, of course, he's going back to his uh, yeah. former club, so I'm sure he'll be looking forward to that. He will, yeah. Um, be a little bit surreal for him. Obviously, I think he was there for seven years, so seven really good years he had there as well. Um, really successful years. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll be great for him. In terms of team selection, obviously, Ronnie Edwards was available at the weekend after his little spell on the sidelines with a hamstring strain. Um, what's the injury situation with everybody else? There's, there's a few niggles um, that we'll, we'll make a late call on. Um, obviously, with the demanding fixture schedule at the minute, it's tough on the players, it's tough on their bodies. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of late calls we need to make tomorrow. Obviously, without Hayden Coulson, of course, who's who yeah. the, the red yeah. card at the weekend. Uh, I guess I guess for you, in terms of team selection, you're, you're looking at it you know, from training today, you're looking at who you've got available, you're looking at potential um, formation changes. It, it must be so hard to sort of tunnel in and say, right, this is what we're going to do. Yes, um, but it, we've just got to go with what we got. Um, you know, we're seeing in performances, and, you know, they're okay and they're in games, especially the last three. Um, and the shape's been really good and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we've got tomorrow once we know um, for definite on, on, on the late calls and, and we'll go from there, but it won't be anything drastic.